Okay, so what you're looking at is an 1890s Sunday school building. Uh, it was built alongside the Holy Trinity Lutheran Church, um, which was built on this site in 1873, but the congregation dates back to 1848. Um, and so the Sunday school building was built 20 years after, after that building was located here. Um, uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, the catch is that we really just have this little strip right here for parking. Um, there is a parking lot down there, belongs to an AME church. Um, I'm sure that some kind of deal can get worked out with the church owners um, and uh, possibly be used later. Knoxville is the village we're in. Um, that is basically the end of it right there. And then in the other direction, uh, there's a looping hill up here called Cemetery Hill. In all, there's about 90 structures, um, so it's really small. Um, but uh, I'm just waiting for cars to pass. Um, and we're closest to the city of Brunswick. Brunswick is two miles off in that direction. And then uh, Harper's Ferry is uh, five miles in the other direction. So the, um, the exterior is asbestos siding. Um, it's stable, it's not unsafe, but anytime we remove it, um, we'll have to take some precautions. So you can see there's three windows back one went on either side and a big red door inside it's basically just a shell with a bunch of crap in there the sticks and stuff that you see on the ground um, were from the ceiling which i had to remove in order to pass VA inspection it has been equipped with a heater in the past i don't know how old it is it also has some stuff inside here that could be of value including at least two church pews here and here um, and so in the back, you see where I have my books right now, about 3,000 books, not all of which are cataloged, but most of them are. Um, and in this back area had an extension that my dad and I had to take out also to pass VA inspection. It's very unsafe, but it's basically just, you know, nothing drops off. But we've got this beautiful area back here, and at some point I want to create a new deck here that connects to the deck for the main structure. Um, so ideally all of this will be some kind of deck and or outdoor seating or entertainment area. As you can tell, we walked up a stage. It's something like three feet. Um, it, it does have a circuit box. Um, you're looking at some of the merchandise right now. It does have a circuit box. It is capable to be wired for electricity as, and water, but it's not currently um, hooked up right now. Um, I don't know the exact square footage of it. You can see the front windows up here have colored window panes and then the sides are all clear and I'm missing the entire window there, um, which would be great for hanging artwork, sta other stained glass. Um, and then, uh, so what I'm hoping to do with it, or what I have in my mind right now, um, and members of Dog Tag will know that I talked about starting a bookshop called The Chapter House. So, off in this direction, you get a lot of people that zoom by. So for a small village, it's really noteworthy to have all these cars that zoom by. Um, and Knoxville is a part of Frederick County. And then right over the Potomac in Virginia, we have Loudoun County. And so every morning, cars race in from this direction and head toward Brunswick, where the train station is that will take them to Washington, D.C. in just an hour. So what I'm thinking is, as people are rushing in, in the morning, uh, perhaps clear this out and make it like a, a pit stop kind of thing where they can pull up here and grab some coffee because Brunswick doesn't have any decent coffee and if they're coming north of Leesburg and not going through that downtown area, they're not going to get really good coffee. So possibly make this some kind of pull up window or even this window. Um, <clears throat> make it something where you can order ahead of time, you can pull in and then you just, you know, pull right back out and continue on to the train station. Um, so I suppose it could be either side, the pickup window or whatever could be either side. Um, and whichever side it is, just in my head right now, I have in mind that that is the drive-in side and you have your coffee and uh, food prep material here, um, plenty of um, overhead space for storage. And so you can come in, drive up and just kind of grab your, your coffee and continue on to the train station. And then all back here can be books along the sides, bookshelves, possibly uh, fashioned after church pews, like little miniature church pews. As you can see, you can just line the books up here. If you imagine that church pew back there is small, 
line them up and lean it back and you don't have to like cant your neck in order to see the spines. But so this could be books in the main area with seating or not. And then up at the top, um, I'm interested in creating a projector screen so that we can do movie nights or we can do some kind of classroom experience and up, in, up on the stage could either be an educational area where I could provide GI justice uh, seminars or other like Bible studies, etc. Um, and then it could also be used as a music space so we could have local artists, other artists come by um, and use that space up there to um, facilitate some kind of community events. And then down here, we have like seating and books. Um, and uh, yeah, that's kind of the idea right now. As I said, it's just a shell. Um, it's got this laminate flooring that's not so great. Uh, but once this is all emptied out, um, some of the stuff we can sell to an antique shop and some of it would be really great um, decor. So that is what the chapter house looks like right now. Um, I'm looking forward to building it out and getting support and encouragement and ideas and guidance from anybody um, that's willing to share it. But I have a whole lot of other fun ideas as well, but I think it starts right here. Um, a little bit of coffee to pull some cash flow and capture um, the value of people like wanting coffee before they jump on the train and their only coffee options are really limited. And then also um, because books because I, I already have an e-commerce solution in place, um, I can ship out from here without necessarily have re leaning on a whole lot of foot traffic. So anyway, yeah, I'm looking forward to any thoughts or feedback you have, and I'll, I'll post this up shortly and start sharing it around for people uh, who may be interested in helping me you know, realize this dream I've had.